Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Quicksilver 2020 1.2. This is the most recent installment, most recent update to the Quicksell 2020. And if you've been around for a while, you would know that Quicksell has been purchased by Epic Games and they are striving towards the whole idea of giving you tools and stuff that you can actually use for free. The previous updates did come with a couple of cool features and we talked about most of these. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can check it out. And the beautiful thing now is with the brand new one that you have, they are actually giving you smart materials and about 50 of them for you to actually start using. Now, if you want to download this, you can also take a look at the link in the description where you can download it. And this doesn't come cheap as once you start downloading, you need to specify what material pack that you want. Actually, this comes with about three different packs, which is the sample mix, the material pack one, and also the material pack two. So depending on the speed of your internet, it is going to take either a less or, or you know a longer time for you to get this downloaded now once you download these and fire up the quick cell mixer you can see right here that it doesn't really look so different from what we have now the very first thing which we're going to take a look at is the smart material so for you to find the smart materials here you need to go over to the local library and from the local library you could see right here I, for some reason i don't know why i have only 47 you know smart materials so with this 47 smart materials i can easily go ahead and click on any of these materials and start working with them now meanwhile in case you're trying to get materials in, in case you're trying in case you're trying to get you know some packs you can also go ahead and check for most of them online so if you're trying to get some 3d models you can simply come over here and take a look at them and another beautiful thing is there is now a brand new handy asset manager that comes pre-installed with this so just in case you're working on your file and you sort of miss your textures maybe you move them to a different place with this handy manager it will definitely tell you that your textures are missing you need to reroute them things like that so if you want to get more textures or you want to get more um, materials or you want to get more packs you can simply come through and search for these things as there is a whole lot of them that you can get and the best part is if you do have an epic games accounts this is extremely easy because you have full access to all of these goodies right here now once we jump back into the viewport we're going to see how this actually applies so first things first if we go over to the local library and go back to where we have our smart material i would simply click on any of these so let's just simply find one one pretty cool one everybody loves the yellow machinery i think if you're working with substance or you know quick sell you probably have used this before so this is awesome the, the thing with the smart materials is the smart materials are sets of materials that are all grouped together in a folder so they have actually gone ahead to make those changes for you so just in case you want to tweak some things you just go directly to the parameter that you want to tweak and you can start tweaking from there and this is exactly the same thing that you have while you're working with substance and just to clarify some things we're going to play around this for a while and then we'll talk about how this actually looks exactly like what you can get with substance so if i simply click down here and go over to the part where we have paint and you can see that we have the yellow thing here if i click over to the albedo i can make several changes and you can start noticing that we can you know change these materials to suit what we're going for and this is very very interesting on the other hand you can also notice that they have various bakes that have been done to all of this material so from the roughness to the displacement to the normals you can see all of these things so depending on what you want to achieve at the end of the day you can just simply go in there and dial things down or maybe dial things off depending on what you're going for and you can start getting your results you know in real time now depending on your computer power this might you know take a while for you to have these things going but at the same time there are certain things that you also need to keep in mind so if we fire substance for comparison you will also notice that right here we have smart materials so in just in case you're trying to switch ship between substance and quicksell these are basically the same thing so if i go ahead and pick out something like this and just drop that right there oh sorry just drop this right here and it loads you would notice we have exactly the same thing now the thing here is if you click on the folder and you know set this all the way down you can go ahead and also make exactly the same kind of changes that we were just looking at with quicksell so very similar stuff that that you have around these things now another beautiful thing here is um when you're working with stuff like this 
with substance, you can also have access to smart mask. Now, smart mask is something that you don't really have in Quixel, but the most beautiful part is you have a masking system. There are a couple of masking systems that you have with this, and it's very interesting to see that, yeah, those masking systems are still existent, and you can proceed to even work with them the more. Now, if we want to throw in some mask, you can easily get that happening by clicking on the surface layer right here. Pick any of the surfaces that you want. So let's just simply go ahead and pick something uh visible all right so that will be very visible so let's just simply get that there and for the most part you can also choose to use the mask to even control the curvature so right now you notice we don't have any of these things right here so there's no curvature here now if you want to play with the curvature you can create some mask that would apply as curvature now before we actually look at that once you click right here and go over to the part where you have you know the simplex this type of noises you can simply use them to drive your mask which is right here or you can go ahead and paint this mask yourself at the same time if you have a map which you want to use to drive these things you can also choose to do that let's throw in a checker and see what we have and you can start noticing that we have some pretty cool you know masking results right here of course these are not as uh you know um should i say smart as what you have in substance but for sure they are procedural and of course you know modular procedural sort of but and of course you can simply use them now if you're trying to also let's get rid of this and try with something even way cooler so if you're also trying to say maybe you want to throw a couple of sand a couple of dust things like that around you know a part like this you can click right here and let's find something that would mimic that idea okay so maybe we can just throw something like this and with this itself we can now drive curvature now the curvature thingy is something that is uh, existent with quicksell so the whole beautiful part about this is you're actually not missing a lot and this makes a lot of sense because if you're trying to create your materials like you do in alchemist you can easily make those materials right here and at the same time if you're trying to make you know uh if you're trying to texture this makes a lot of sense as you can easily texture as well so with this here if you're playing with the curvature it's very interesting to see that you can do this and on the other hand you can still go ahead and throw in a different kind of noise so we've already played with the curvature and you know we can play with a different kind of noise right here and play with how much we want these things to be and for me i like the whole idea that you have this and you can just simply you know flip this back and forth and get some pretty cool result as you know you're working with it now with this said it's very interesting to also look at some things that i really wish that with this release should have come hopefully they're going to implement this for the coming release and the very first one is the back face calling for some reason i have no idea why there is no back face calling so i went over to you know while i was testing this update i went over to blender made a cup throwing that mug directly in here and i did everything possible to make sure that i could see the surface and that wasn't possible for any reason so i went back and forth and felt like it was a problem and after everything brought it back and that wasn't still working but if you throw this over to substance we've already talked about modules that and ways that you can get this thing fixed and it's very easy to just get this thing fixed directly there so i hope that they fixed something like that and on the other hand i'm also looking forward to see that you know we would be able to have um a way of baking things directly here i wish maybe if there's a way you can play with certain parameters and big things makes a lot of sense i love the whole curvature thing which is very interesting to see and you know this is also going to be a very big time saver but i still wish that you know we can bake directly here so with all of this stuff talked about it's very interesting to also look at some of the updates that they have also you know announced alongside with this so we already talked about the asset manager that is coming and for the materials that are, we have a couple of them like gold fabrics lemon you know camel gear and so on and so forth i'm going to put a link in the description where you can check it out and there are a lot of cool you know reviews that they have right here so in case you're also thinking about taking a look at this you can also check that out and for the future they are still saying that they are looking at implementing multi texture set now this is definitely going to be very interesting and put it along lines with substance and you know marry as right now all you can do is just texture on one particular texture set so i tried this earlier just to see if maybe you know it was uh implemented before i checked out a couple of things 
and no it wasn't implemented so i tried it with a different file as well which was just one independent file but different material set but it wasn't still implemented as well so these are basically it but for me i love the idea that but for me i love the idea that quicksell mixer is a tool that you can use to mix create your own materials and at the same time apply them onto a model with a huge library of things that you can get from the mega scan store and it's very interesting to see that a tool like this is free and anybody that wants to start working with it has a full access to getting this downloading it and playing with it totally for free and this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace